Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ishmael from Conjured Realm. Okay, so in today's video, I'm bringing it all the way back to the basics. It's a new year. You guys have a fresh start to start implementing these techniques into your everyday lives to start manifesting the lives that you are wanting to achieve. So I, over the, like the last year, I've gotten a lot of questions that were very easily found in my previous videos but i guess people don't necessarily always want to go back and watch every single video to get one piece of advice when i can just put it all in one video so i will have this video up so you guys have it as reference for future um, needs so as you guys know on this channel we practice law of assumption not law of vibration nothing to do with vibration not law of attraction now what is the difference between law of attraction and law of assumption Law of attraction is that whole belief of what you put out, you receive back. And some of them also believe in karma and all this other stuff that to me just seems a little bit too much. Um, a lot of it is unnecessary coming from law of assumption. You don't need all these beliefs in the way to try to manifest something. So law of attraction is being high vibes, always being love and light and all that other BS to me that is unnecessary. Law of assumption is whatever you are believing, whatever you assume has to be true in your reality. So anything you are assuming about a certain person or a certain topic or a group of people or a place, a thing has to become true in your reality. Why? Because that is your most dominant assumption. Your most dominant beliefs is what manifests in your everyday life. So if you go to a store and you didn't get parking one time by the front door and every single time after that time you went to the grocery store you think because you didn't get parking that one time you'll, you'll never get parking in the front door again now because you have that belief now every time you go to that specific grocery store or maybe grocery stores in general you'll find that you'll never get front door parking because that is a belief you're telling yourself now assumptions can be um, altered so just because you grew up thinking something is one way doesn't mean that it has to stay that way forever. Assumptions, especially if you have persisted in them for a very long time, can take a little bit of time to alter, but it's not impossible. I've had money assumptions that I grew up with my entire life that I then changed once I started to get into manifestation. So they're not permanent. You can change them. And to do that, you use affirmations some people like to use scripting some people like to use visualizations me i like to use all three but my preference is um, affirming and visualizing and i'll sometimes script here and there i like to script um sometimes like, like maybe once a week i'll script or something but it's not my go-to my go-to is visualizing and affirming now what does it take for you to manifest anything into your reality Okay, that is very simple. Whatever thought you persist in, even if you're wrong, will have to become reality in your 3D. Now, what is the 3D? The 3D is everything out here. The, the rocks, the, the house, the, your computer, your, your floor, everything that's outside is considered the 3D. That is the 3D. Any thought you persist in consistently will manifest. And that's all it takes. Even if you're wrong, even if there's a circumstance, even if you think it cannot be moved, if you assume that it is a specific way you want it to be, then it has no choice but to become that way. Now, there are nuances to this technique. Like, for example, you cannot interfere with other laws. Like, you cannot assume that law of gravity doesn't exist. Like, you just can't do that. Or like you can't assume that oxygen is no longer a thing on earth those kinds of things cannot be moved or touched um it is what it is yeah keep that in mind you cannot interfere with other laws now i want to quickly touch on circumstances and how they don't matter when you are assuming something so when it comes to wanting to manifest something but you think that there's a a fact or a circumstance in the way because it's always been that way for the longest time you could remember, or it just seems impossible to break. Know that if you persist in a thought 
long enough, that circumstance has no choice but to wither and melt away. It is what it is. That is a law of assumption. No circumstance is big enough for the law of assumption. They will have to move. Mountains will move to get your desire if you persist on an assumption. This is why if you've always been broke and you just affirm and persist in the thought that you've always been rich, eventually when your subconscious takes that affirmation as a belief, it has no choice but to reflect that out into your 3D reality. Thus, you'll come into a situation where you come into a lot of money to make the statement that you affirmed to be true. That is essentially what law of assumption is. Whatever you assume will have to become re reality in your 3D. That's as easy as I can put it. That's law of assumption for you. Now, I did get a, a question in my community tab about distancing yourself from the 3D or from people around you that um, persist in not so good stories when you are trying to change them. To me personally, that is something I recommend. You don't always have to do it. If you're mentally and like strong enough to understand that whatever someone is saying cannot affect your manifestation, then by all means, you can still be around them. But I, for one, when I was starting out with my manifestations, I didn't like to be around people that were always complaining, always so negative about everything because it just kind of found its way to rub off on me in some way if i was around those kinds of people for too long so i tried to stay away from very negative people i tried to really stay away from people who always complained who always could never see good in life and it honestly helped me a bunch because it allowed me to not feel so triggered all the time whenever i was trying to manifest something because one thing your mind will try to do is give you proof of the opposite once you start to affirm for something that you want. It doesn't mean that it's right, it's just doing its job because of evolution. It's trying to keep you safe. It's trying to keep you in a comfort zone so you don't die. Now, not every situation causes you to be in a life or death um, instance. so. The ego is not always necessary, but because we have this ego, it will always want to keep us safe. And the easiest way to keep us safe is by giving us negative thoughts that contradict the new affirmations we are feeding our subconscious. That's why when you start affirming for a new desire and start saying the opposite of what you always have known, your mind will start to fight you on it because it's trying to keep you safe. Now, this can only work for so long. Once you start affirming something consistently, 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 your mind will start to open up and you create new neural pathways in your, in your mind. Now, the more you start to feed your mind these new affirmations and neglect the old way of thinking, the old neural pathway now dies and it becomes easier and easier and easier to think those new thoughts. The more you think these new thoughts, the more you manifest what you are assuming or saying. Now, you don't always have to believe the things you are saying because that's not necessary. I've manifested so much things without having to believe the thing that I was saying. Eventually, it will become a belief. But if it doesn't become a belief in the beginning, that's completely fine, it's not necessary. It will happen over time and you will still manifest. Now, the reason why we wanna make things into a belief once we start to affirm is because we would like to sustain our manifestation. It's like trying to manifest an SP. With affirmations, you will manifest a person or anyone you want. That's not the issue. The issue is you want to keep using your affirmations even after getting your SP so you can keep them, right? You don't want them to come in and then you lose them or they break up with you a couple days later. No, we use our affirmation so it sticks into our belief system and we no longer have to affirm as much. So that's pretty much the basis of law of assumption. Whatever you assume has to become reality in your 3D. Um, I always like to stay away from people who are negative or just like things are negative in general um, that may shift my mindset into a not so positive one like i don't listen to sad music i don't listen to like the news all the time because the news can be so negative and depressing so i i try to keep away from the news unless it's something that i really 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 have to watch 
then I'll watch it. But I have this assumption that if something's in the news and I really need to know about it, it will make its way to me somehow, some way, whether I see it on social media or whatever. If it's something really important that I have to know, I have an assumption that it will get to me. But um, if you guys have any other questions on law of assumption, I think I might make a part two to this video, honestly, because there's still so much more I can say. But I don't want to make this video too long for the people that really enjoy my shorter videos uh, to get bored. But if you guys have any other questions, please leave them down below. I might just make a part two. Um, also, I'm still doing uh, one on one coaching if you guys are interested. Uh, email me at conjuredrealm at gmail.com. I have open slots available. Um, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. All right, guys. Happy manifesting.